Hey, what's up turtles? Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a flashlight from Through Night, which is the Archer 1C. So here's the packaging the flashlight comes in with its case. Right off the bat, really happy with just the packaging because it's sort of this little tin. You can use this for whatever, you know, put a little kit, whatever, use your imagination, but just happy with some packaging that can be used. Inside here, you can see the flashlight is right here. And then it comes with <clears throat> also a little belt sort of sheath. Also has a D-ring up here. And it comes with two replacement O-rings because this is waterproof to a certain standard. And I'll touch on that as I get into the details of the flashlight. But this is what it comes with. And I'll show you, just get it into get it into its little holster or sheath. Fits in really nice, really snug. Belt threads through back here. Like I said, then you have this clip. Clip it to your bag, belt, anything like that. Use your imagination. As I mentioned earlier, this is Through Night as a company. This is the Archer 1C model on their Amazon store, on Through Night's Amazon store. It's $23.95. It runs off of a CR123 battery, which is not included but weight without a battery is around 45 grams. So, <clears throat> some of the measurements, nine centimeters in length, because I, diameter, it's about two centimeters. So very, very small and compact and very bright. Constructed out of aircraft grade aluminum. It has five different light, set, light settings, excuse me, and the max output is you're gonna get 281 lumens using this Cree XP G2 LED. Moving back here on the tail cap you know, uh, switch, you have these little raised shoulders, which isn't the easiest if you're trying to pull this out as quick as you can and get a light on, because if you have it sort of, your thumb's hitting the shoulders, you can see it's raised you know, for, uh, you know, some tactical applications, if you will, like that, you know, you want this on as quick as you can without any fidgeting. This might, I mean, it does pose a problem, excuse me, and if you have really thick winter gloves on, it might not be the easiest to get this on, still be possible, but luckily you can cycle through uh, the settings without using this switch. And so it has a mode, has a mode right here where I press it in halfway. You can see that, or I can, uh, click it through the whole way, you'll hear that click, and then turn it on and off. And then to cycle through here, through each five settings, like I said before, the first one is a firefly. For low light settings, you know, at night, if you're gonna be reading, looking at a map, anything low light, we just don't really wanna mess up your night vision because it is a white light. Firefly, which is 0.2 lumens and runs for 315 hours on the setting. To cycle through that, you sort of twist the front, and it, and it clicks over. Now this is the low setting. Runs at 24 lumens for 13 hours. One more, mid setting. This is 90 lumens and runs for 2.7 hours. Taken to the max setting. This is 281 lumens, which is the brightest you're gonna get. Run time is about 40, 48 minutes. And this will give you a peak distance about, or excuse me, beam distance about 296 meters, which is very, very, you know, bright for this small compact one battery flashlight, in my opinion. And then it does have a strobe function, which is the 281 lumens and the strobe will run for one and a half hours. Cycle back through. It also has a memory function, mem memory feature. So if I cycle through here, get to the strobe and turn that off and turn it back on, it goes right back to the, the setting I previously had it on while it was on, which is really cool. And Through Night says this is a waterproof flashlight to IPX8 standards. Now I haven't got the details um, from them because IPX8, according to my research, it needs to be sort of designated by the manufacturer to what this has been tested, um, sort of its waterproof you know, rating. But nonetheless, there's a stream next to us. And we're gonna go test it out and just see how it performs with the conditions we have today.
Just a little crayfish down here. So I kept it on strobe just to obviously try to make it easy as you can see that it's on, it's in the water. Now, the deeper you put it, the way waterproof you know, settings go with water pressure acting on the device, that's gonna change, you know, like how deep you can use this and whether you can cycle through it and still use it underwater is a whole different setting as opposed to, or a whole different ball game as opposed to just having it fall in the water and still keeping all the components dry and then be able to take it out and use it. So I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna to try to cycle through it as it's in the water and see what happens. And this is maybe only four or five inches of water, if that. Cycle through it, still working, off, on. So cycle through everything, turn it on and off, in the water still worked. Saw so I found this little two inch crayfish right in front of me, it was shining him or her. Not how they felt about that, but so really impressed with this. Gonna dry the flashlight off a little bit now. So that's basically the ins and outs of this flashlight. Really happy with honestly the size and how bright this, how bright the flashlight really is. And I'm really impressed. I haven't got a flashlight, a new flashlight in a long time. Um, I really like using headlamps. Flashlights are really nice because you can get a very, very, very high lumen, strong beam, all of that. And they definitely have their place. I prefer a headlamp, obviously, if I'm around camp, anything like that, just to keep my hands free. But having a small flashlight like this size at that brightness takes up no space in a bag. You can really light up the night if you need to around camp because you know most headlamps aren't going to be that bright obviously compared to a larger flashlight. But with that said, really happy with this and because this is factory direct selling from through night, you're getting this at less than $24 for this. So all around just a really great, great product. Really happy with all the features that I mentioned before. So if you have any questions for me about this flashlight, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you have any other you know popular flashlight brands you like that could you know potentially compete with this you know be interested to hear about that too so let me know it's Kirk signing out with black outdoors later turtles